Hello guys, in this video I will do something different. Someone asked me to do a 5x5 five five and a 6x6 six six, um, spiral matrix, but um, instead of starting at the top left, it will start from the bottom left, okay? And instead of increasing the number, it will decrease the number, okay? So in this case, we'll go from 25, 24, 22 three and so on till the number one and six by six is uh, 36 35 34 and to the number one okay um the old algorithm that I did in a previous video uh, is this one um, the output okay so it starts at the top left and it starts from number one and goes to number two and and so on till it reaches the number twenty five five okay um, and why this uh, video is different because I'm not going to code actually I'm I'm I want to reuse the old algorithm okay so from the old algorithm if I go here and this I think this is uh, a little complicated and I'm building another one actually I have the I already have the code but um, I'm making the draws to explain it so it takes uh, a little time um, going back to this one I copy from here, code start and code end where it to code end, copy and I move here and paste ok um, oh, I forgot I already have defined uh, rows 5 and columns 5 these two macros I also have a function with a print matrix. Uh, I t I think you you get the idea here, um, and I already add a matrix with zeros. So um, what this does is actually the same thing that this does. So how we will transform this? in this okay so if I go here the first thing that we have to do is instead of starting from 1 it will start from 25 so 25 is the number of rows multiplied by the number of columns so now we have 25 and instead of increasing the number we will decrease the number. So I decreased here and decrease here and here in the last one I decrease here. So if I copy this, copy and move here, paste and now we have 25, 24, 23, 22 and so on till it reaches the number one. Okay? So now uh, how to go from here to here if you notice the the rows are um, switched in the let me put this side by side and I need to see this bigger so you can see this if you notice here, um, this col this sorry, this row is at the top, and this row is in the second, and this is in the middle. Okay, um, this one is here, and this one is here. So, what we have to do is switch the rows. Okay, to do that, I 
already did a video, a previous video about that, about switching the rows. So I copied the algorithm here, copy, and after this, after generating our uh, spiral matrix, we pass the code. So if I copy this and let's test where it let's test it. Tada! Now we have our final spiral matrix. Okay, like this. Remember, um, you can in this video you will have in the description. Um, the link for the generate spiral matrix and the matrix reverse rows okay so you can see uh, remember that you always can download the source code um what's what's more um i'm doing uh, ac actually i already have um a new a different algorithm to uh, solve this case and I can show you a snippet I'm doing it on in Java uh, I already have the, the algorithm done okay but I have to translate it to C and then I have to make some draws because I want to explain um, I think this code is uh, more readable uh, I call uh, Y steps and X steps and that's it. It, it have a main while and uh, four, four loops um, and after this it have some crazy um, some crazy ifs and whiles but I think it's um, I can visually uh, show you that is more simple to, to understand this algorithm than the old one. Okay, so um, in the next days I will uh, have this done, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, I don't know. Um, so uh, this is it, uh, thanks for watching and see ya.